channel. First, I would like to thank yung mga sumusuporta at nanonood ng channel. Now, i-discuss ko yung pinakamadaling paraan para makapunta kayo dito sa Canada. Ang Immigration Refugee Citizenship Canada which is nagpo-process ng permanent residence citizenship ng mga applicants para makapag-enter ng Canada as immigrants. The easiest way to enter Canada is through express entry. Yes. Ano nga ba ang express entry? Ang express entry po ay isang program ng Canada or ng Immigration Refugees Citizenship Canada or IRCC to attract yung mga skilled workers or professionals kasi may kakulangan ng skilled jobs or workers dito sa Canada. Mga professionals, mga trade or skilled workers Paano nagwo-work ang express entry? If you're planning to apply or interested in this program ng uh, Immigration Canada, it's all online. Lahat ng application and then inquiries you can access po online sa website ng ng Canada. So later ay uh, papakita ko kung yung website kung saan nyo siya pwede ma-access or ma-check uh, sa internet. So, ang express entry, as said in the, in the program online, it's guaranteed six months you can come here in Canada as landed permanent residents and workers as well. So, imagine kung gaano kabilis in six months. I remember nung nag-enter kami rito way back in 2014 especially me and yung mga uh, batchmate ko mga batchmate uh, we're under working visa that time and the uh, working visa so we've been issued the a work permit so yung sa program namin It takes time bago kami maging permanent residents. So normally after one year or two years sa iba, bago kami um, nakapag-process because we need the endorsement of the employer, our employer. And then makapag-apply kami sa provincial stage. And then if okay na yung sa provincial application namin, saka pa lang kami makakapag-apply sa federal ng permanent residence. So, imagine how long it takes time for us during that time na maiprocess yung PR namin. Unlike now, and actually even uh, like before or oh, a while, um, nag exist na tong express entry. So, anong, ano ba ang kailangan sa express entry? Anong program ang kailangan kong malaman? Unang una, as I've said earlier, ang express entry is for professional job workers, skilled, and trades. So at first, um, the process is, kailangan i-double check po muna natin <clears throat> kung eligible ba tayo sa pag apply for this program. So, ano ba yung kailangan na i-check or factors para sa application ng express entry? So, una, yung skilled work experience. May sapat bang uh, professional job work experience or trades skilled work experience to apply for this program. Pangalawa is uh, yung language ability. So, yung language ability um, like IELTS and uh, 
in here in Canada kasi meron ding English exam na, na counterpart ng IELTS. Ito yung self Canadian English Language Proficiency Index Program. Kailangan i-assess yung language ability ng immigrants so the government knows or the <clears throat> IRCC if you can well adapt pag ka nag-immigrate ka na dito sa Canada. So, malaking um, isa sa mga factor yun talaga. Even in, in the US, I'm pretty sure, New Zealand, Australia, um, you really need to assess yung language ability. So, pangatlo, na points to check before ka mag-apply here in express entry, is yung education. So, education kasi um, highly skilled ang kailangan nila under this program. So, they need to assess yung validity ng if you're like a degree holder or you graduated or you graduated as doctors, dentists, nurse, etc. Na that they need to verify your credentials. Pangapat is proof of funds. Kailangan ng proof of funds, the government or the IRCC wants to know if you are able to support yourself through enough funds or enough funds para sa family mo kapag uh, nag-immigrate ka na sa Canada. Because here in Canada, medyo malaki yung cost of living. Lalo na if may kasama kang family na mag-land uh, as immigrant dito sa Canada through this express entry program. And then panlima, admissibility to enter Canada. I'm pretty sure in every country, kung mag-work nga tayo in other country like Middle East, US, and here in Canada, kailangan nilang i-verify meron ka bang kaso or any criminal charges in your home country. So for security purposes din yun. Yun yung mga factors na kailangan i-check uh, before applying uh, to this program, Express Entry. And then, yung next step naman, next step is yung paggawa ng profile. Or yung tinatawag na Express Entry Profile. If pupunta kayo dun sa website, and then, mag apply kayo under Express Entry Program, mag-input kayo ng mga information based dun sa mga nabanggit ko. Or may mga karagdagang pang information. Like sa, yun nga, sa skilled work experience. Kung ilang work experience ang meron ka dito. As, for example, as restaurant managers, uh, doctors, dentists, welders. Yun. And then, education. Kung gano katagal yung um, uh, years of education mo professionally. And then, proof of funds, i-input mo doon kung uh, gano kalaki yung pera na meron ka na dadalhin mo sa Canada. Tapos, sa admissibility to enter Canada, you need to provide the police clearance or NBA clearance sa atin sa Pinas, yung katumbas. And uh, yung language exam, yun. So, you have to provide either IELTS and then CELPIP. So, in if you're applying for Express Entry sa IELTS, I believe ang, ang score or a minimum score na kailangan mo is 7. 7 above. And then sa CELPIP, yeah, it's uh, passing score is 7 above. So, 
yun, yung exam ka sa IELTS and then sa CELPIP, uh, they have four components naman, so the same. So, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. So, in four of them, sa CELPIP, Um, for if you're applying in express entry, the minimum is uh, seven for a uh, federal skilled uh, worker. Yon, sa IELTS, I'm not sure but base dun sa kasama ko sa apartment before, sa IELTS, seven at least above pagka uh, uh, nag-take ano. So, so, ang first step is yung mag uh, gagawa ka ng express entry profile pupunta ka sa website ng Canada or pupunta ka sa website ng Immigration Canada or canada.ca and then under express entry mag-fill up ka ng express entry profile so by the way as I've said earlier Itong express entry application, it's all online. Ang Immigration Canada, nag, ang, if you can check, uh, it's really user-friendly. Merong instruction and then i-explain sa'yo kung paano mo fill up yung application. So, magkakaroon ka ng guide. It will be helpful for you. So, pagka nag, nakapag- uh, lagay ka na ng, or nakapag-apply ka na, and then you already input your information in the express entry profile. And then yung, yung sinabit mong information or profile, madadala siya dun sa express entry pool of applicants. Dun naka-designate yung mga applicants all over the world. Just added information pala. Ang Express Entry has three programs. Una yung Federal Skilled Worker Program. Pangalawa is yung Federal Trades and Skill Program. And then pangatlo is yung Canadian Experience Class. So basically, yung Federal Skilled Worker Programs and the Federal Trade or Skilled Program, ito yung mga job uh, professional work experience. So yung Federal Skilled Worker Program or yung Federal Trade or Skill Program. Basically, ito yung mga professional jobs like doctors, uh, nurse, dentist, and then sa trade yung plumbers, welders. So, ito yung mga job na nasa National Occupation Classification ng Canada. Like, NOC O or zero, NOC A or NOC B. So, ito yung mga highly skilled jobs identified in Canada. And then, the last one or yung pangatlo is yung Canadian Experience Class. So, yung Canadian Experience Class, if you have worked in Canada before or umuwi or currently nag-work sa Canada for one year or more, then pwede pwede ka mag-apply under Canadian Experience Class. So, ito yung mga to yung kailangan mo i-check or options kapag nag-apply ka na under Express Entry. Yun. And, yun. So, I hope uh, na kahit pa paano, I was able to impart some information regarding this application and uh, guaranteed six months in six months you'll be able to process your papers or become a landed permanent residence here in Canada you have to try po yung express entry salamat po and hanggang sa susunod magkita kita po tayo mga kabayan Shhh.